Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Miguel. And Michelle. We are Filipino American artists, and today we will be looking at a, one of our speed drawing videos. And today we will be looking at Leah Salonga. Well, my speed drawing of Leah Salonga. So I have here a binder full of all the portraits that I've drawn. You can check out the videos and the rest of our channel if you're curious. And we're basically looking back at all of the work I've done and reviewing them. And as an artist, um, we're basically going to do like an art critique. So we're going to point out um, some things that Miguel is doing while he's drawing Leia Salonga. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. that you've already laid down the foundation for um, Leia Salonga's uh, face, overall like shape, and also adding a little bit of hair color and uh, the sh basic shadows, like where her eyes, nose, and mouth is, and even a little bit of red blush for her, where her cheeks are. So that's a good foundation to start with. Yeah. Oh, I most also must add that in this uh, portrait. I should have done more foundation, but because I was so focused, uh, this was one of my earlier drawings. So I was kind of in a hurry, just trying to memorize all the steps and not really going deep into it. So if I were to do this again, I would have added even more foundation. So just a little pro tip. So quickly again, um, I went straight into sketching out the line work and what I should have done is, well, I actually went, this is actually already fine, but you know, so we'll just watch the rest of it. Okay, so like right here, I went back and forth. That's typically not a good idea. idea. So. What I should have done is not went with the drawing yet. So I should have saved that for later. You want to have everything down. It's like building a house, all the foundation first before you add in the other stuff like windows and roofs and everything. Going, wait. So going back and forth with the line art and the, like, what's it called, shading? Yeah, like it's not incorrect, but it's not a, a good technique. Like, if I would advise people doing pastel to really lay out everything before you do the line work. So, I could notice, based on what you said, it's a little rough. Like, it's, it's kind of like you miss a step or you kind of, you're really rushing it. Just kind of like... Uh, pointing that out as well. So at this point, you're not really changing her face shape anymore. You kind of already defined that, and so at, it's kind of like you can't go back and change anything. And you may have noticed that this is one of our earliest videos where um, the video itself is kind of doesn't really show the entire process. So there might be like parts where it kind of jumps from one part to the next. That's just because we was something that was trying to do in the beginning. So. <laughs>
rather quickly, I think basically to summarize my uh, sort of issue with this portrait is I was still in an illustrator mindset and you don't it's not particularly useful because you want to again follow the steps and unlike an illustrator there are more rules as to how you approach a portrait portrait making so with pastel work uh, one of the reasons why you don't want to go back and forth is that you might make smudges and it creates it, it create it makes the line work even messy and you can kind of get lost into where exactly you are in the process. So. Yeah, I do notice that you are kind of going back and forth with a lot of minor details and at this point I'm kind of curious like are you uh, using a black or a really dark colored pencil? Uh, yeah basically I, I did use black and I was going to say that it's not this is probably going to be a constant theme in almost every review is you never use black until the last last step uh, because black being the darkest color it's the most messiest and hard to fix. So once you use black, it there's no going like fixing that kind of color with another color. It's just going to make it messy. So with line work, it's not as problematic because it's just lines. You could kind of fix it, but I would advise to not use black for the pastel or the the colored pencils. That way you can be assured that it you won't run into a lot of mistakes. So at this point, you can really do see Leia Swango's face uh, a little bit more defined and I wouldn't say it's too smudgy or anything, like I think you were pretty careful only because you know how to use your uh, materials so that you kind of were a little wary, but for myself, if I was using pastels, I would have immediately been making a lot of mistakes if I, I skipped around because like I would constantly try to fix something and it's not gonna like, it's gonna get all muddy and messy and um, you're using your finger a lot with using soft pastels, so it can easily get muddy if you don't clean your finger enough, but I think Miguel was really careful trying to keep his finger from like smudging anything. So. Oh, so you may not see it because of my bad camera work, um, but the one good thing that I can compliment if I were to compliment like a clone of myself doing this is he, he, he being me, he's done a good job doing the hair last. So that's like a major step in the way I was taught is doing the hair last and that way you can be guaranteed that you won't mess anything up on the face because you're already done with the face. So the hair being last, all you need to focus is on the hair because the hair is another major part that requires many steps of its own, almost like doing another face. So the hair has so many forms, so many characteristics that you have to pay attention to. You gotta go from light to, to the darkest and then mid-tone color. Um, you want to concentrate in making shapes as opposed to single strands, because that'll take you forever. So many different techniques you gotta learn just doing the hair itself. And that's why you do the hair last, so you can just focus on the hair. turned out pretty well and obviously the video does not do justice to the actual portrait which we can show right now um, this is Leia Salonga I think I might have to
then. There you go. So that is the actual picture that I have in this binder. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all relatively the same size, so that gives you an idea how big it is and what the actual picture looks like. Okay. Well, okay. So these portraits are meant to be life-size, so when Miguel is drawing these um, portraitures, it is like how you would see them like if they were in front of you. And this is something that you used to do at your old job where the person was supposed to be in front of you while you draw them. So um, I think you did a really, I, I really do like your um, color choices and how you approach um, Leia Salonga's face. There is obviously you considered her rosy cheeks and what is like a prominent feature of Leia Salonga that you think is really important to who she looks um, like? I would say the eyebrows and the smile, like the way she smiles. The toughest part would be the hair because she there, there are like different phases in her fashion that she went from short hair to slightly long hair and I think like in the mid-2000s, late 2000s she had this kind of hairstyle which I kind of grew up with so I recognize Leia Salongo in that hairstyle and that's why I chose that. Um, she's, I would say her diff the difficulty of drawing her is like medium, like not too hard and not too easy but just kind of, you know, if you paid more attention you could really distinguish her. So let me know in the comments if you think I did her justice and what you think about the critique. Uh, if you happen to be an artist and or like some things you want to point out, please let me know. And we'll see you next time. Bye!